you know, all of us when we're young, we feel we're entitled automatically to good health until old age. And then when something suddenly impacts on our lives, it really throws us. We're, we're just, we don't have any model for it. And I think it, that was the case for sure, really, with, with uh, developing psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis in my 20s. You know, most people don't understand a lot of what goes on w with that disease and with a lot of diseases. And uh, the thing that makes it more complex is, of course, that it, it's visible. You have a visible skin condition that people don't know, they don't know what it is, and they assume it's contagious. About a third of people with psoriasis develop what's called psoriatic arthritis. And in my case, you know, my hands have been severely impacted. I've actually been impacted pretty much throughout my body. Every joint in my body has arthritis. Itchy skin, flaky skin. You leave a trail of your skin when you get up from a chair sometimes. Painful joints and swollen joints. It hurts to move. You get morning stiffness, so you wake up in the morning and you're achy and stiff, and it makes life difficult. I think there's a fear that if a woman gets involved with me and my problems get worse, she'll have to end up taking care of me, which is not something I would demand on a physical level from anybody, but, you know, relationships are complex. You get involved with someone, they get sick, what happens, you know? What happens to the relationship? So I think that element operates in my situation on some level. It's been, yeah, it's been challenging. I started working in video in the early 70s and I developed the first signs of, of psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis about four years after I had started working in video. So I started shooting material for uh, a, a documentary on, on psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis because I was trying this alternative treatment which unfortunately had pretty disastrous results and I ended up curtailing the production in the interest of having to take care of myself for the next few years. The thing about My Skin's on Fire is it's a very personal experience and people really opened up to us because I walk into a room and they see the physical limitations, they see the way I walk, they see my hands, they know I've been through a lot. So it's not like I'm trying to rip them off in any ways. I, I'm a, a collaborator, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a colleague of, of sorts. And so I think that makes people comfortable and allows me to step into their space. And that, that honors me, that really, I feel honored uh, when they do that because I feel that they're sharing something sacred with me. We have shot about probably two-thirds of the follow-up film called I'm Just Like You, which is focusing on the impact of psoriasis on, on children and families. So that feels good. It feels like I've really gotten back on my life's path and mission. I try to laugh a lot. I think it's important not to take yourself too seriously and to be able to laugh at the absurdities and uh, the craziness of life, because um, life is crazy. Sometimes we have a vision of what we want to do in life, but the universe doesn't support that vision. As I get older, I realize that I feel the best when I can let go of a particular way I have of viewing something and just allow the experience to kind of happen, so to speak. I try to take a more Buddhist approach to things. 
and realize that I have very little control over much of what's going on, particularly over large parts of my immune system and my body. So it's important to take care of myself, but at the same time be aware of the fact that not everything is the way I think it should be. And I have to be flexible and adjust myself to the realities of the situation as opposed to imposing my own realities on the situation. Life is learning. Life is a learning process. If you know at, at 60, no more than what you knew at 20, then you, know, you probably haven't been paying attention. You know? To grow old gracefully requires a certain kind of you know, openness and, and uh, malleability and uh, passion, too, really, being excited about things. And that's one thing that my work gives me is that I am terribly excited about meeting new people, going to new situations, but really uh, feeling excited about something. I think we all need that. You know, just it's one day at a time.